so I'm staying here at uh, Ran's place. Uh, Ran also is the chef of the bar and restaurant there, and I'm gonna say it's fucking amazing. I came here for three days, and I extended three days more, and it costs basically uh, nine or ten euro a day. Nine or ten euro a day, and you live in these uh, bungalows. As you can see, <laughs> it's literally like five steps away. You have this hammock, you know. It's actually very nice. I really like it. So I don't know if you did I show you before, but sorry for the mess. <laughs> there's the bungalow. There's the bed. Shower is there. Shower. And that's how I live here for almost a week already. <laughs> I like it. And the run himself, uh, well, he's a man, he's a man. <laughs> if you'll have time, you know, he won't be busy with customers. He will, uh, he will like show you how to cook, Thai cooking class, he will give you no problem, you know. Very amazing person, really. Will help you with whatever he can. He can. And we really would, if you come here, recommend you to have a chat with him. <laughs> it will be a good fun. <laughs> right. At the moment, uh, the kitchen is closed, but uh, normally there would be like food serving and he cooks amazing food. I eat here every day and well, we have kind of like feasts the last few days <laughs> as the kitchen is closed and he's just getting rid of everything. So grilled fishes and meats and stuff. straight on the beach and you know like uh, sunsets uh, they get uh, really nice here really beautiful sunset here uh, so if you manage to get here at the time when the restaurant will be open <laughs> definitely recommend you to have a, a nice dinner here food will be amazing and so will be the view Run. Yeah, so gonna walk a bit uh, on the beach, and uh, basically this will be my last full day here in Lanta. Is tomorrow I I'm leaving Lanta, and I'm going to Krabi, the Krabi town itself, uh, Rayleigh Beach, and some other places that I just simply do, do not remember the name of, <laughs> as my third memory is a shite. As you know, so yeah, that's the plan. I'm slowly, slowly moving in the mainland and heading towards the north, uh, towards Bangkok, Bangkok and Chiang Mai. At least that's the plan, you know. You know, I'm walking here down this beach in uh, Koh Lanta in Thailand and uh, just thinking about. Like, you know, we all like complain that, you know, our lives are shit, you know, we haven't done anything and I, I, I've been guilty of that as well, you know, and to a certain extent I still do believe that and uh, think that, that uh, maybe I just think that I, I have potential to do something more, maybe that's why, I, I don't know, it differs obviously from person to person, but uh, walking here down this beach, like, I was just thinking that how lucky like in certain ways uh, I have been in my life actually you know uh, if you think about it like uh, I used to when I was growing up uh, I would think about these places like uh, well even in Europe the idea that uh, one day I would get in a as I was a child like 10 11 I remember the idea itself that one day I would I would fly somewhere you know to see something like even countries around my own country like you know like uh, somewhere in Europe uh, seemed like uh, impossibility almost you know and uh, then as a uh, time passed you know years went and uh, I got older obviously it slowly started became became reality you know so and I've been lucky in certain ways like uh, if I think about you know that now that used to the idea about going 
somewhere like South America, North America, you know, Asia, Thailand uh, seemed impossibility. And now I'm here, you know, like I, ha I have been in so many countries actually, like if you think about it, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, Co <laughs> Costa Rica, you know. Cuba, America, like uh, some of them uh, for longer periods of time, uh, some for smaller, like Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, you know, like if you think about it, I have, I have been in Machu Picchu, I have, I have seen this, uh, this uh, place that used to uh, read in the books in the school, you know, like, uh, so that's pretty, pretty crazy if you think about it, like, and now I'm here in the Thailand, you know, uh, walking down it's all, all awesome, like uh, view, you know, this, this super green sea, which is uh, so warm. I mean, it's almost like a warm bath, you know, it feels like that. With the, those cliffs and islands back in the background, you know, it's amazing, and so much yet to see, you know, and yeah, it's just, it's amazing how unexpected life can turn out sometimes, you know. And I am extremely, extremely grateful for that. Still, there's many things I want to do, many things I want to see. But yeah, I just think that sometimes we don't, we forget to appreciate uh, things that we, we have achieved, you know. And uh, sometimes even we forgot and don't realize that uh, we are doing something that used to be thought would be a dream. Right, well, that's <laughs> a small, I don't know how to even call it, small talk about feelings and shit, <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn, it's fast. <laughs> This is a nice place. A bit of the beaten path, so to say. Yeah, again these rocks like... Oh, hey. I would like to know how, how they have formed like this. It's so distinctive like... Fuck, it's very hot here today and here it's so nice that there's a breeze here. So, at this spot here, so, oh yeah. I'm gonna chill a bit and then walk back to Ron's place. <laughs> He's cooking a fish curry today. Fish yellow curry. Can't wait for it. I, I tried his panang curry a few days ago. It was the best curry I have had so far in Thailand. And not even joking, I mean seriously.